trying to finally quiet this freaking nugget down, dude. Yeah, this thing's way too loud. What is going on guys welcome back to the channel so you know like i had mentioned in that opening clip this car is way too stinking loud i picked it up you know chopped open header added some blast pipes at the side because that's all i have material for at the time because these bmws european cars in general i found take very you know odd size materials but in this case these cars usually have a dual exhaust from factory because you know I, weirdly enough they have two headers it's a straight six but two different headers so um you know, I'm, I finally got material to quiet it down, but we also got something else that's gonna, you know, help this process, make it a little bit nicer, and uh, just in general, it, it's just gonna look nice. Let me show you. So I'm chasing some sort of leak because I see wetness. Decent amount of wetness. But I can't figure out for the life of me what that is. I don't know. Doesn't have much of a smell. Well, anyway, enough of that about that. I'll chase that later. But you can see this is what I've made so far. You know, it's getting some nice color to it, slowly but surely. I've only ran it a few minutes at a time. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. So we are here for all of this. So here are some V-bands. Here are some flex pipes. That is my material. Those are my resonators. I don't have the money for mufflers right now, so I'm just gonna make something work with those, and then we'll figure that out later in the video. But in the meantime, these, which are very hot because the car was sitting out in the sun, would be some headers. I can open this thing. There we go. So, these are some headers. Now, these were sent to me by a company that I've worked with before on the channel. So, my actually most viral video about doing like the most budget, like best sounding muffler, I forget what it was. Um, so, the company called Speed Lab, they sent me the muffler. They've also sent me an exhaust cutout that I made a video on, on that turbocharged. EF Civic with a, I think it was a GSR Turbo. Um, but I, you know, just happened to be price checking some headers for this thing because these ones are really clapped and cut up. And I realized that these guys actually have a set that they sell. So I reached out to them, asked if they wanted to work together again, and they, you know, they obliged. So we got us here a nice set of, you know, headers for this thing. So again, two sets, well, two headers. Um, yeah, I believe this would be the rearward one, and this is probably the more frontward one. Um, it's a bit of a tight fit up there, but you know, I think it's most easily accessible from the underside I've never you know installed headers on these cars before so we're gonna be kind of going through it But first things first I do need to get the stock ones off I'm letting it cool because even just moving it, you know, those things get nice and toasty So I'm gonna run and grab some coffee really quick. And we're gonna come back now The point of the flex pipes and the point of the V bands right here is I'm not gonna be using these flanges I don't like flanges. I like V bands So I am gonna be chopping these off on each end Put in flex pipes that way we don't have to worry about these things cracking later on it can be a one and done type thing and then we're going to be building off of that so the only part that sucks is i kind of have to put these up see where these land and then go from there because the stock ones as you can tell come around the corner a bit oh wait i lied so these ones are probably going to come out to around here so yeah in that case I, i'm probably safe to just chop the v-bands off the ends of those things and or uh the flanges and put the uh, flex pipe in the v-band so anyway yeah i need a mock-up but i need to drop this stuff first which it needs to cool because it's a little spicy all right back from the coffee run i'm meeting reading somewhat conflicting things on doing headers on these cars so i'm just gonna hop right into it and kind of see what i can figure out for myself um overall it seems like a tight fit so let's start keep it simple drop the you know the bottom half
Okay, so we're looking pretty decent so far. Um, I got the pipes off, got the O2 sensors out. I did mark them front and rear because that does make a difference, especially on OBD2 cars like this. So you can see kind of, well, let me, I, know, I got the headlamp on, so I'm trying to move my headlamp to where you can see all the hardware, which isn't working out all that great. But there's, I don't know, probably two, four, six, eight bolts. And uh, I soaked everything in PB Blaster beforehand. So right now I am using this extended Harbor Freight, you know, long neck flex head ratchet with a deep 11 millimeter, because that's what these are. And mine all just broke free on this rear header very, very easily. So thankfully that's my case, you know, Arizona car. Hopefully the front one goes that smoothly. Now I'm just gonna, you know, actually get the rest of the bolts out. Just can't really fit the camera up there, but take my word for it, they're, they're up there. You can probably get away if you don't have a flex head with a short extension like this for the more like in between the runner type nuts, but so far, so good. So this step, um, the part that I was running into is you see this tube right there, the, the one that we're focused on, yeah, so this tube. So that is for the EGR valve, which will be deleted on this new header setup. The issue I ran into though is one of the bolts I can't really access from below. So what I had to do was move the EGR out of the way, so I just folded it up over the top here. It's two 10 millimeter nuts. Um, and now I gotta get the EGR nuts off of this front manifold and then this whole tube will come off and then that'll give me access to the other header bolt. So right now, I'm just kind of blind feeling for this lower EGR bolt on the front header, or the forwardmost header. We almost got it. There we go. I'm sure most of you guys aren't pulling these things on a lift, but after just doing the top side stuff like you just saw, I can definitely say it is, at least for the front header, absolutely easier to get all the bolts from up top. So move the washer reservoir like you've seen, move the EGR valve and the piping for it. So much room. The rear ones were easier under the car, but let's pull them out. All the bolts are out. Oh, there's the one. And the second. All right, let's test up, let, well, test fit these new ones. So these ones do have studs from factory, like this car. A lot of mine came out with the nut attached, so it's more like a bolt. I don't know if that's concerning or not, but we'll find out. There is one or two studs left up, so I should be able to mock them up on the car. Um, let's do that. These ones hit the engine mount. Unless I'm putting it in at a weird angle, but... Maybe that one does go in the back? Well, that's what I was trying to do. But it was like sitting on the engine mount. Unless it has to just go up just a certain way. Oh. Uh, so it, it just sits very close. Oh, wait, no. It needs to go down more. Oh, nope. Nope. Ah. <laughs> Okay, so we got the front header on. You can see up there, it's very, very close. It might even be touching the heat shield on the header. Granted, the upper bolts aren't on, so it'll it'll move itself slightly. Um, very tight fit for sure, though. So you guys may have a better chance of just moving the engine bracket, but I was able to get it by just, you know, fumbling it around a little bit. So in this case for me, this is what I was talking about. I'm gonna be chopping this off and putting a flex pipe with the V-band just to kick it out where I need it to go. But first off, that was just test fit, still gonna put the gasket on it. I'm gonna test fit the second one. All 
All right, second header, which is the rear, the rearmost one, went in so much easier. Just snuck it up the front right here. But yeah, so this one's all good. I'm happy with that one. The first one, like I said, was the only concerning one. Uh, we got the extra O2 ports here. I'm not gonna be using those for now, so I'm just gonna, you know, snug those bolts down. The ones that we will be using are the shorter ones up here, higher up on the runners. So go ahead, do that. But for me, you know, I'm probably gonna have to mark this because I'm gonna have to do the one header, put the V-band and the flex pipe on, and then I don't think these are both gonna fit side by side. So I may have to chop the flange on this one, extend it over a little bit further before I can put the flex pipe on it. So I'm gonna figure this part out and uh, I'll, uh, you know, I'll show you guys what I come up with. All right, so the two and a quarter inch pipe that I bought for the exhaust is slightly larger than the header end after cutting the flange off. So what I did is I have a Lyle like reducer expander cone for the press over there. I just reduced the tip down just enough. Now it's just a good enough close, you know, joint that I can I can tick weld that nicely. So now I'm just gonna trim this out just like probably an inch, weld that on, and then weld the flex pipe onto that because the flex pipe would not fit onto that. So yeah, this, then flex pipe, then V-band. All right, you know, for being, you know, what it is, this thing's looking pretty spiffy here now, especially with some of that color we got going on. This thing's all good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this uh, O2 cap off, uh, tighten it up, and then, you know, bolt this thing up. This one's good to go. Then I'm just gonna essentially do the same thing with the other one. I will skim through that really quick and give you guys the gist of it once it's done so you can see it, because I am kind of running out of time here today. But yeah, looking freaking good. Got the first header finally installed. It took absolutely way too long than I should have. So two things to know, and I don't know if I said the first one already, but when you get these things, you have to deck the flanges right off the bat because they're gonna be pretty warped. So if you have a belt sander like this, or you know, take it to a local machine shop, have them just take a layer off, it's gonna cost you a couple bucks, or you know, if you can find a way to flatten those flanges, that's your best bet. But the other issue I ran into is the holes. They are, you know, I believe they're probably correct because you know, I'm sure they're 3D uh, you know, they're CNC'd or whatever, but the issue is that because they warp, even if you flatten the flange, the bow is still in there, so the bolt holes aren't going to line correctly. So do yourself a favor, drill them out to the next size up. That's what I did. The drill bit I used was a uh, 3 8 so yeah, just this Milwaukee bit set. Um, yeah, drill them out to at least a 3 8 if you can, maybe even a touch, touch bigger. It's incredibly tight fit. And then to actually tighten them down, I definitely recommend doing new hardware. There's two studs on there where I definitely am going to have to change them out because the nut was going down, but then the stud stopped spinning because of crud or whatever is in the hole. Um, so I'm going to have to change those out because um, I didn't like how they felt anyway. But yeah, you're going to have to use a mix of, you know, ratchet, you know, a quarter inch drive, and then an 11 inch or 11 millimeter um, wrench. It's just not fun. Second worst set of headers I've ever done next to a Dodge Challenger. So 
Now that the front one is finally done, assuming they all seal, I'll go up and double check the top ones when I do the top ones on the other one. Um, but yeah, now I can finally start making the second set. So I'll catch up with you guys once that set is more or less done. Okay, so let me grab my flashlight really quick and show you guys. So I got this other one all tacked up. I'm just, like I said, I'm just trying to burn through this. So I cheated pretty quickly with the MIG welder, tacking it up. So it's not looking bad at all, don't get me wrong. Um, the only other concern I have is you can see that O2 sensor up there. Let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. Get some light. Kinda. Well, I don't know. It's not going to focus too well. But, uh, oh, there we go. So the issue is it's not touching that other header, but it's closer than I'd like. So that's something I want to make note to the uh, manufacturer to see if they can move that over just a smidgen. Because that is just too stinking close. Um, and then the other issue is that secondary port right there. That's completely useless. Um, you can't obviously stick a sensor onto that guy. You see it almost touching the floor there. Um, so that's another issue. I guess fitment wise, yeah, they do fit. It's just going to be an absolute nightmare to get these other bolts tightened up on this second header. But overall, you know, it's in position. I kind of made it harder for myself with the V-bands and these flex pipes here, but I think this is going to be good enough to fit them. And that's what I was talking about. So there is kind of like an indentation right there. You can see that cut out on the uh, heat shield, so I use that to my advantage for the flex pipe. But um, yeah, you know, we're looking decent, but that's pretty much going to be it for me. I'm just going to pull this off, weld these joints out, and then that's going to be the header install for me. Uh, I lost track of what time it is. Uh, fuck, dude, this is one of the most tedious installs I've definitely ever done, like I mentioned in the last clip. So uh, I've been going at it, like right now, it doesn't work like it, but I am getting one of the last bolts. I'm using a very stubby 11 mil on a quarter inch ratchet and before I was on top of kneeling on the engine upside down on the side just taking a nap to uh, use a wrench a quarter turn at a time on the top bolts I don't know what else to do <laughs> so yeah good luck to anybody doing this whether it's these headers or anything else that's a long tube like this or whatever you, you're gonna need some small hands or some funkier tools because I've got all the flex heads, I've got the air, you know, I've got all the power tools, and there's gotta be something else specialty wise to get you in here. But on the last bolt, and then we're done. Okay, just now finished up. It is going on 9:30 at night, so I'm I'm a solid, you know, eight hours into this job. Again, this is with me modifying it, so taking the time to TIG weld it and accounting for time spent filming. Um, yeah, no, they look really good. I'm pretty stoked on it, but yeah, no, it was just the utmost tedious, you know, job ever using it like that. Like the second hardest header installation job I've definitely done for sure. I've done, you know, the hardest one was a Dodge Challenger, um, you know, some eBay long tubes. Fit worse than these and also just less room, so... That was no fun, but I mean, overall, like I think the main thing that's gonna make a difference um, for these guys is obviously these aren't an original product. Um, somebody else designed them, and then somebody at some point took them and was like, hey, you know what, can you guys make this a lot cheaper? And that's kind of how you end up with stuff like this. But the product overall, you do get what you pay for. It is a pretty solid product. Really, my only gripes, like I said, over the head flange, because it warped, that would be a sealing issue and then because it warped it also made the holes harder to get into position so if they take into consideration i did send them a video of my concerns and issues with it i think it'll really help the product immensely so the other concern i had is the secondary o2 ports on these at least on the front header i'm sorry the the, the rearmost header it, the secondary sensor touches the floor with the cap on it you're literally like eighth inch away at tops so you can't use the secondary sensor port some of them i guess don't even have them um from what I've seen on photos, my buddy in Florida has a set of the same headers, and uh, well, at least from a different manufacturer, well, seller, and his doesn't have that secondary port. So I don't really know, but really, if they just take into consideration the things that I told them about the flanges, and then you know the other guy that reviewed these consideration about changing from the two bolts to the correct three bolt with the right orientation of where the stock piping meets, I think they they got a hit on their hands. So I do have a discount code or link i can't remember it'll be in the top comment if you guys want to get yourself a set it'll kick me a few bucks and honestly you know i would expect without a lift 
I, I'd set aside a good seven hours if you're not mechanically, you know, if you, if you know what you're doing, six to seven hours, unless you've got maybe some fancier tools that I don't, like weird angles or something for wrenches. And uh, If I had a new ratcheting wrench, I would have made life a lot easier. My ratcheter on my ratcheting wrench stopped working on the 11, so i got to get a new one of those. But overall, you know, really, really tedious, but not hard. Just so, so time-consuming because of the monotonous work that you got to do with those holes. But, you know, I'm excited to build the rest of the exhaust. So if you guys are too... Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Stay tuned for the next video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to help support the channel further, I do have a you know a big cartel. You can get some merch. Um, I'll be having some new stuff here soon. I just got to get it designed, you know. And then, uh, you know, I got a P.O. box if you ever want to send me anything. So thanks for spending some time out of your day here with me, guys. Again, if you want to set for yourself, click that link. And, uh, yeah, do what you love. Forget about the rest. I'm going to go home. I just had to bathe in the garden hose outside. I'm going to go finish, you know, cleaning my ass up. I'm hot. See you next time. Peace out.